hello hello and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing some rolling trays this one I painted all white on both sides we're going to put one image on the front this one I already completed I put an image on the front and also on the back side okay and we're going to go to the next step okay so this one I'm going to go with this image So I'm going to go with this image and I'm not going to do it the long way. I'm not going to do a portrait. I'm going to do a landscape because I'm going to need two of these so I can piece it together. Landscape and print. And we're just going to do two copies. And we're going to piece it together on the plate so I can get the full image. And I'm just waiting on my verification. As they send it to my printer, there it is. Hit OK. And there she goes. Show you the picture of that one as well. Turn it back this way. And there's no, I found out there is no wrong or right way to do it. If you have any that's left over that isn't covered, just take some pieces and piece it together. Once you put your epoxy epoxy on it it'll be fine so I am learning if you guys know how to do it and you see something I can improve on just let me know there's that pick that I am going to use and so it won't fit fully on the tray so I'm going to trim off my edges I'm going to get another one I'm going to do half of my tray and then the bottom part of my portrait, I'm going to piece together, okay? Okay, so I placed my first one on my tray. And that's how it's gonna look. You're gonna bring it up where you have extra. We're gonna piece this together to make it fit the whole tray. should be enough room so I'm going to cut this and then I'm going to come back and apply it to my tray okay so here I'm just piecing my image together and trying to line it up okay and then the bottom I'm just going to go in and fill in with some of my blue that I have uh, on the ends Okay, so you're just going to piece it together, line everything up, peel the tape off, and put it in place. Okay, so I have it there in place, and we're just piecing it together. So I'm 
just gonna lay it down. Just try to get it as close as possible. And then I'm gonna peel the rest of this off. Okay. And just make sure everything lines up. And then I'm just gonna add some blue down here at the bottom. Okay, so I've lined up everything here. And here, I'm just piecing in pieces. Um, that need to be pieced in. I'm just putting in little pieces where I can to completely um, cover the tray, okay? Okay, so like this here, I have a little bit left here. I'm just going to cut some pieces off and just fit them. To completely cover your tray. No wrong way or right way to do it. Just make sure everything is completely covered. Take that down in the inside and bring it back out. This here, I'm going to try off. And I'm going to put this right there or in. I have some white here on the side that I'm just going to take this piece. Just going to trim it off. Trim off what you need. And then just fold it under. Okay. And now she is ready be a boxy. Keeping all my scraps because I might do this image again and I'll have scraps and whatnot to use. So I'm going to store those but she's all finished and you're just going to fold your image under Make sure everything's folded under. I'm gonna take my little tool and just go around my tray. Okay. Make sure everything's in place the way it should. Corners. Press in. And we gonna get the epoxy, you know, okay?
we are going to start on our epoxy and you have two solutions for your epoxy um, you have your epoxy reason and you have your hardener and they are both a super gloss you have a A and you have a B and you want to put it in a separate cup and the thickest one I'm going to do that one first and we're going to coat this tray first okay just put it to the side so I get everything how I want it and I got a couple of items here that I'm going to do so I'm going to use enough I have three trays so hopefully I'll, um, if I don't have enough I'll just uh, do another one but okay so this is going to be our A and we're going to do B and just make sure that everything you have the same amount of each okay You can also mark your cups, but if you have a good eye, you don't have to mark your cups. And that looks about right. So hopefully I have enough room in here to add all of this. So you're just gonna stir. And it's gonna get cloudy. And you're just gonna stir it until the cloudiness goes away. And that's when your epoxy is ready to be added to your trays. Okay? So I just made it. It's completely full. I'm just gonna mix until the cloudiness goes away, okay? Okay, so everything is clear. And I'm gonna use these gloves. They're pretty thick. You can use rubber gloves. And what I did is just turn them on the opposite side. So those little bumps here aren't in my way and I'm gonna move this over and I'm really pushing it with this cup because it is full I'm gonna take that and lean it to the side and try to go in my creases key to drying faster is making sure you don't put too much epoxy okay and I see a little bubble but for the bubbles you can go back in and hit it with your blow dryer and it should be fine so now I'm just going to start with my hand Go up in the corners to make sure I'm coating it. And I'm just gonna work my way down. And this should be enough to cover the entire tray. And you're just gonna spread it out. 
and make sure you have half and half of your solutions because if you don't, it'll take longer to dry or it might not dry at all because it's not mixed properly. So all we're doing is just coating the middle and then I'm gonna come back and coat my side. come up around my sides and just make sure everything is completely coated. I want to go around the sides as well to make sure I'm getting everything. So just take it around the sides to seal your label that you put in place. Okay, and there's everything coated. I just like to learn new things. It's various things you can do. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.